You came into the weekend knowing you needed a couple wins, just want to feel good about it, get out of here, senior day, festivities, all that stuff. Did today measure up to what you needed it? Yeah, it certainly did. I mean, it's uh, they're two very good opponents. You know, Simon Frazier is really well coached, and they came in gunning, and, you know, uh, Grand Canyon's got some studs on their team. So it was nice to do that. It was nice to send the seniors out with a couple wins, but more so, um, it was really good to see a couple of kids starting to come around, you know. It's been a, a long three weeks, and uh, we really saw some signs of life today. We also saw a lot of things we guys keep working on, but uh, very impressed with them, very impressed with the energy. It's tough when you're dealing with all this emotion to kind of keep the emotion in check, and I think they did a really good job of it. Uh, sticking with the senior theme, Leah goes out and wins the 200 again, five straight dual meets for her now. Yeah. With a time is three seconds faster than it was last weekend. Did yeah. you know that was coming from her? I knew she was going to be fast, and uh, it was a little front-ended. We, we, you know, the second 100 could have been a little bit better, but I knew she'd be excited. Um, I knew she wanted to take take that kid out pretty quick in the front half of it, and. Uh, yeah, so I, I think that's where she should be right now. That was great. The other senior that had a huge day, Janelle Lucas, her one meter dive, uh, second highest score in school history, career right. best for her. For her to go out on senior day like that, knowing that she's got a couple big meets coming up with the Lumberjack, WAC, yep. zones, which she wants to redeem herself yep. at, just kind of where she's at right now. I, what's exciting about that is, you know, one meter is her weakest board. You know, I mean, as she gets higher up, she gets better and better, and for her to have figured out one meter like that, that just bodes well for the other two boards. And I think she's going to be in the mix on all three of them. And um, you know, with the zone stuff, she got nothing to redeem herself from. She's a great competitor, you know, and she had one hard dive last year that I think really rung her bell a little bit. So I think she's she's going to be great in the end. And like I said before, she's done something that no one else has ever done in school history, and that's win three conference titles in a row. And, um, she carries herself with a lot of class, and we're, we're pretty proud of her. And then a glimpse at the future, too, on Senior Day here with Katie Hale winning three individual events, yeah. leading off the two medley relay. Yeah. What did you see out of her today? That was, uh, that was exciting. Um, you know, I knew the, the 50 back was going to be good, but that's by far her best split. Um, I think that's faster than we let off at WAC last year, which is cool. Um, the 100 back was a little bit of a mess, but the 50 free is exciting. You know, because she's figuring out her underwaters and the kid's got some upside, so we're pretty happy for her. And it seemed like the underwaters were what pulled her through on the 200 back as well. Yeah. Kind of take us through that come from behind win for her. Yeah, exactly. She's still learning that event. It's something that she really hasn't raced much. So I think this is only the third time she's raced it this year. Um, and so her kick out off the last turn won her that race. And very, very poised competitor. And I think she's kind of playful with competition too, so that's fun to watch. One more regular season dual meet, and then we got conference. Yep. What do the next five weeks look like for you guys? Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's a long bus trip to Corvallis next week and a much improved Oregon State team. So there are some things that we might approach that just a little bit differently from, you know, it's our last chance to work on stuff from a competitive standpoint. So some kids, we may just focus on one or two events. Um, and then we just got to get them some rest, put them back together. I mean, this time of year is interesting. Everybody's a little bit banged up, but I think mentally and emotionally we're in a good place. Uh, like you saw today, we got great senior leadership, we got young kids, we got good divers. So, you know, if we can stay healthy, stay focused, we'll be in it.